you all. We're on the terrace, Mother. Why don't you all come in? Why don't you all come in? <clears throat> Mother, you, you look so pretty. <sighs> Mr. O'Connor? How do you do? <laughs> Well, 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 so this is Mr. O'Connor. <laughs> Introduction's entirely unnecessary. I've heard so much about you from my boy. I finally said to him, Tom, good gracious, why don't you bring this paragon to supper finally? I'd like to meet this nice young man at the warehouse instead of just hearing you sing his praises so much. Well, I don't know why my son is so standoffish. Well, that's not Southern behavior. Let's sit down. <laughs> Let's sit down. And I think we could use a little more air in here. Tom, leave the door open. I felt a nice fresh breeze a moment ago. Hmm. So warm already and not quite summer even. We're really going to burn up when summer really gets started. However, we're having a very light supper. I think light things are better for this time of year. The same as light clothes are. Light clothes and light food are what warm weather calls for. You know, our blood gets so thick during the winter. It takes a while for us to adjust ourselves. When the season changes, what well, came so quick this year, I wasn't prepared. All of a sudden, having summer already, I ran to the trunk and pulled out this light dress. Uh, terribly old, historical almost, but felt so good. Mother? You know? Yes, honey. Uh, how about supper? Honey, you go ask sister if supper's ready. Sister's in full charge of supper. Tell her you hungry boys are waiting for it. Have you met Laura? Let you in. Oh, good. So you've met already. <laughs> oh. It's rare for a girl as sweet and pretty as Laura to be domestic, but Laura is, thank heavens, not only pretty, but also very domestic. I'm not at all. Never was a bit. Never could make a thing but angel food cake. <laughs> well, in the South, we had so many servants. Gone, gone, gone. All vestige of gracious living gone completely. <laughs> well, I wasn't prepared for what the future brought me and raised my family on a large piece of land with plenty of servants. But man proposes and woman accepts the proposal to bear that old, old saying a little bit. I married no planter. <laughs> I married a man who works for the telephone company, that gallantly smiling gentleman over there, telephone man who fell in love with long distance. Now he travels and I don't even know where, but what am I going on for about my tribulations? Tell me yours. Oh, well, I hope you don't have any. No. Tom? Yes, Mother? <clears throat> Is supper nearly ready? It looks to me like supper's on the table. Oh, let me look. Lovely. <laughs> but where is sister? Laura says she's not feeling very well. She thinks she'd better not come to the table. Oh, no, what nonsense. Oh, Laura? Laura? Yes, Mother? Oh, you really must come to the table. We won't be seated until you come to the table. Uh, come in, Mr. O'Connor. You sit there, and uh, I'll sit. Laura? Laura Wingfield, you're keeping us waiting, honey. We can't say grace and, until you come to the table. Oh. oh, Laura. Oh, Laura, you are ill. Darling, oh, Tom, take your sister in the living room, dear. Uh, sit in the living room, Laura. Rest on the sofa. Well, standing over a hot stove made her ill. I told her it was just too warm this evening, but uh, is Laura all right now? Oh. Uh, yes. <gasps> what is that? Rain? Oh, a nice cool rain has come up. Oh. I think we may have Grace now. <laughs> Tom? <sighs> Honey, you say Grace. For these and all thy mercies, God's holy name be praised. 